In this step of the DIY, what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate the little uh, potentiometer uh, for the output signal. And uh, we're going to, to do that, what we have to do is we have to hook everything up, and which, and which means we have to have a program in the aqua controller. Uh, just, we just have to have the pump in there so that we can um, uh, tell the, the, tell the uh, uh, Aquasurf to turn the voltage on to, to, the, um, uh, to that signal. <clears throat> so in order to do that, we've got to hook everything up. So I've got my Aqua controller here. Uh, I've got power for it. And um, so and I've got the control cable to hook to the Aquasurf. Uh, hook that to the control in and I've got this here and we need our multimeter uh, to read the voltage and what we want is just a just a, a right at five volts so I'm gonna now that I've got everything hooked up uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and power up the um, power up the uh, the vortex driver and I, if you'll note, I've disconnected the signal wire from the potentiometer here. I don't know if you can see that, but I got a little ahead of myself when I hooked that up. It's the signal wire that goes over here to the processor. I disconnected that. Um, matter of fact, I'll just, I'll just show you that real quick. I disconnected that. It was over here to the signal wire, and it, 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 it went over here, and I just unsoldered it. It goes to the, that little pad that... That little lead that we that we took up uh, from the board that's hooked to the processor, and so I've disconnected that, and uh, because we've got to measure that voltage so that we don't overdrive the the processor and run it, and so I've got power to my Aquasurf. I can see the lights are on, um, and now I'm going to hook power to the Aqua controller. <clears throat> And what that's going to do is I've already got a, got a program in there set that will um, turn the power on, uh, full on to the pump. And the way that we, or to the Aquasurf and to that particular pump, and the way that we can know that is, is I can check the voltage uh, and I've got it set to, set it to 20 volts over here. And I'll, all I'll do is I'll just check the incoming voltage um, on this pin right here. Uh, it says 10.9 volts. Um, that's about right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, 10.8, 10.9 uh, volts. So um, actually it probably that's close enough. So what we'll do is is I'll just uh, we'll just check the voltage there 4.75 on that on that on this uh, one pin right here, the one that I was telling you about. Let me zoom in a little bit uh, so we make sure we're getting this right. Um, and we want our voltmeter to read to read five volts, uh, maybe a hair less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to check it, and it says my potentiometer. You can't see it's just kind of out of sight there. It says 4.7. So I'm going to turn it a little, turn the pot just a little bit here, and um, I can do that, do two things at once here. I've, it now says, see what it says now. It now says 5.04. We'll turn that down just a teeny weeny bit. Uh, let's see what we've got. Went the wrong way. It's backwards of what you think it should be. You turn it to the right to turn it down. And 4.88, a little too low. And I could play with it like this all day long. But what we want is just, just right at 5 volts, uh, 5.02. And... Uh, that's probably close enough, 5.01, 5.02, and there you go. Now the, the pot is set, and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a little bit of, a little bit of um, super glue there to make sure that that doesn't get moved, 
uh, right there on one corner, just a little bit of thick CA super glue, and you're, you're calibrated. We can hook our signal wire back up, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and do that and, um, and see because it will change the voltage a little bit. But five volts is what, what that processor is looking for. Now, let's see what, let's see what we've got here. Um, says 5.01. Good enough.